What's up guys, it's Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with your daily sneaker review fix. Today we're taking a look at the recently released Air Jordan 12 Gray. These released on November 18 earlier this year and I gotta say this is one of the cleanest non-OG colorways to release of the Air Jordan 12 in quite some time. Now before we dive into the sneakers I want to say welcome to the channel. If you're new here we upload daily sneaker reviews, vlogs, and stuff like that so if you're into that kind of content definitely Definitely think about subscribing and check out my recent Japan vlogs. Today we're taking a look at the gray Air Jordan 12s as you guys probably already know. And these Jordan 12s, I wanna say, are so clean and so subtle. If you are a fan of these sneakers, you can cop them in most stores. They're readily available on the shelves. I don't think these are gonna hit the outlets, but they might go on sale for maybe 20 to $30 off in some instances. I did cop these about three weeks or two weeks after they released during the Black Friday sales, and I picked it up for a steal, like a hundred dollars off retail in Canada which is really really good now if you're like me and you missed out on the PSNY the public school New York Air Jordan 12s those things are so nice if you missed out on those I feel like these Jordan 12s right here are going to be a great backup like prize a backup sneaker because you know those PSNY 12s they fetch a pretty high price on the resale market now if you're also a fan of gold as well which I'm hoping most of you guys probably are then these hits of gold on the shoe right here are going to please you a lot just like they please me that sounded really really wrong I know these are a GR and so usually quality control is skimped on for releases like this but they use a really nice high quality suede all over the upper of the shoe which are not going to be disappointed with at all by any means you guys can see that the gray sort of changes colors a little bit when you uh, do rub it the gold accents right there the tongue has that gray Jumpman as well. And then we have two running down the side of one shoe and then the other shoe has three, so of course it has 23. Here's a look at the back of the shoe. We got some Jordan branding, the Jumpman, and 23 underneath. The uh, the mud guard they use on the shoe, it's not just one shade of gray they use. You could say they use 50 shades of gray. They don't just use one shade of gray on this Jordan 12. They do use a lighter shade of gray on the mud guard, the midsole right here. Now that might turn off a bunch of people from buying these, but honestly, I don't mind the different shades of gray on the shoe. When you take a look at the bottom of the shoe, you also got that carbon fiber hit really nice really subtle nothing too crazy and you got some gold branding with the 23 at the tip of the toe now in terms of sizing for the shoe i would recommend going your true size i know some people can get away with going half a size down but i find true to size works for me perfectly in terms of comfort i find these to be very very comfortable sneakers the jordan 12 you can wear all day long there's an air unit inside of here and they are just very comfortable so if you're planning to wear a pair of retro jordans all day long the jordan 12 will be a comfortable shoe overall I gotta say, these Jordan 12s are a good daily beater. I find that Jordan 12s maintain their shape and maintain how fresh they look over time, just like Jordan 1s. I mean, Jordan 1s, you can tell when they're beat up, but they still look good. Jordan 12s are also another model I feel like you can wear a ton, and even if you wear them a ton, they're still gonna look good. They're almost like boots. They're quite big and bulky. This shoe, you're not gonna have to worry about getting dirty, and if you do, they're pretty easy to clean up in my opinion. Also, if you're a fan of rope laces, you'll be pleased to see that these do have dark gray rope laces and on the inside panel of the shoe there's also this different kind of texture it sort of reminds me of like a basketball the way a basketball feels so I'm pretty sure that's where that came from now these did retail for 255 Canadian dollars or 190 US which is the regular retail price for Jordans nowadays if you were thinking about copying these try and hunt them for a little bit for under retail with that said on footage coming up next thank you guys a lot for watching and for the comment question of the day let me know in the comments if you think these sneakers are a cop or if they are a drop let me know your opinions on the jordan 12 gray or dark gray and uh, yeah i'll chop it up with you guys in the comments if you haven't yet followed me on instagram follow me at a sneaker talk ca i'll have outfit photos and giveaways over there so make sure you follow me there and uh yeah that's it on feet coming up next